everyone. This is my Alaskan Malamute. His name is Sheru. The thing I'm going to share with you today, the hot spots, how to take care of the hot spot. How to take care of the hot spots. This is very common problem with Alaskan Malamute. They have very dense fur. They have a, the coat is so dense and it's very normal when you have Alaskan Malibu. You can get hot spots. But if you're taking care of your Alaskan Malibu, then you won't see it, this problem. Sheru is a seven year old. This is his eighth year. We never had a problem. The reason being, if you give them shower, you clean them well, you make sure they are dried, and then they have enough exercise, they run around and their coat is dry. And then they don't have any issues. And the second thing is very important that on a regular basis, if you're combing, then that will eliminate the issues as well. Should I put your head here? So now, this is the third day Shedu got the hot spots on his head. And now it's all, it's pretty much already recovered. Shedu is pretty much already recovered. Here, put your head This is the third day, and I did not want to share with you guys uh, regard to Shedu that. Uh, it looks pretty gross. And I've been taking care of him really well. And uh, this is the year he got really hot spots on his uh, forehead. How this thing happened? Last week, off and on, we had rain and Chedu was running around, he get wet. Put your head here. Good one. Now he's getting distracted. Uh, when I'm doing uh, cleaning him, he put his head down and uh, he, put your head down here. And he does not move. Right now I'm talking, he knows that uh, I'm doing a video, so he's kind of, uh, get the distractor. So this is a really important uh, video for those people who have their pets, has a hot spot, how to take care of them. So Shedu got the hot spot on his uh, forehead right here because uh, he was getting wet and it wasn't get dried up. And I did not dry him. I thought it was uh, looking okay. But uh, as soon as uh, the fungus started and uh, he get the hot spot, and then he starts scratching with his uh, paw, and he cut through the area. 
and that looks really gross because it's not bleeding and uh, then uh, the blood started accumulating and that was irritating him and I did not notice that day. But the day, put your idea, Chede. Put your idea, Chede. Put your idea. So, you will be okay. As I was saying that it's a really important uh, if your pets has a hot spot, how to take care of them. And um, this is the information I'm going to share with you that how I treated uh, Sheru really well, even though it looks gross. So the day I find out he screamed because he, his paw, he was scratching and it got hurt and I did not even notice. And uh, later that day I seen uh, his hair was kind of wet hair because uh, he was licking his paw and then keep scratching. And then my son came and uh, he noticed that he said, Dad, he's uh, scratching his ear and uh, his uh, ears are all wet. Uh, did you do anything to him? I said no. And that was it. And that day passed. And it got more worse. Next day, Next day he was keep bothering me, telling me that he has some problem, he was barking and all doing stuff. And I thought that, uh, I don't know, why he's doing it, maybe he's just irritated or tired or something he wants. And uh, that evening, he screamed again. So. This is the third day of getting his hot spots. You okay now? Or are you tired already? The video is taking too long? Okay. This is the last one. Last time. Okay, come down. Come down. Ask your dog to sit down and uh, put a pillow or something and uh, Then keep uh, cleaning. So now I'm going to clean it this way. clean okay? So you have to communicate with your pet really well, so that uh, they understand that you're not harming them. They feel very comfortable with you when you're cleaning it. This is the final shadow. I'm going to dry off your water. This is hot, lukewarm water. I cleaned him really well. It was a spread from here, all the way here, all the way on his head. Now it's uh, very well taken care. I'm going to share uh, with you what exactly I have done it. And um, basically I will summarize it. If your pet has a hot spot, how to take care of them. Don't get panic or something like the way I did it. But uh, as I do it, I learn myself how to cope with it. and. Uh, Look at this, how he's feeling better. He's already feeling better. He heard some noise and uh, he's very active. He wants to make sure that no one is out there. No, no, come in, come in. Sheru, come back. Now I have to bring him. Get him on the bear, now. Jump.
And come down. Sit down. Come on. Sit down. We have a neighbor back there. Come. Sit down. The kids started playing and uh, they were playing back there and he just rushed and he wanted to see what's going on. So he's feeling really good. Hey, come here. Come here. Come now. Let's put some medication. Come on. Let's put some medication. Come on. Come. Sheru, come here. You're a good boy. Oh, he's uh, very stubborn sometimes. He just don't want to come here. I have to go down there. Okay. No. Just come here. Come here. Okay. I'm going to spray this one, okay? So don't move. Good. Shadu is a good boy. He always listen. He is a very nice boy. Wow, Shadu is so good. Did you close your eyes? Very good. He closes his eyes. Let's put this on. Oh, wow. Wow. It's all wet. I'm just going to rub it slowly, okay? Just like this, okay? Wow, Shadu is doing good. Shadu is looking a little funny. I start cutting his hairs from here. Already cut his hair, then I later realized it. Oh no, I don't want to cut it. And he wasn't letting me cut either. But I cut some because uh, it was looking so ugly. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Close. Good boy. Don't move, okay? She is looking good. Okay. Put your head here so I can. You know, slowly massage it, okay? Come, put your head here. You want massage? You like massage, right? You like massage? Okay. So that evening, uh, I found out uh, when he was uh, screaming and I came down and I seen his all head from right here has a lot of blood accumulated, it was a dry blood and his skin was uh, irritated. It was all red and this area was all pus. It was uh, looking really ugly scene. It was so scary, you know? And uh, that was a night time and uh, the first instant was to how to take care of him really well at that moment. So what we did uh, right away, we, uh, you know, I asked my son to run into the pharmacy, get these medication. I'll list under my description so you can check it out. And um, I tried to apply it and he won't let me touch it. It was so bad. As soon as you touch it, he will uh, put his head away and uh, he won't uh, let you touch because it really hurt him bad. And uh, the other thing, uh, what we did, we got the e-collar for him. So we put the e-collar so that way he don't uh, mess around. Uh, he don't scratch it. And uh, then uh, I used the medication uh, that night and we, I kept him uh, close to me and uh, as soon as we put the e-collar, he got scared, but uh, he doesn't like the e-collar, then I have to stay all night with him, so he won't scratch. And uh, 
Next morning, um, I asked my son to help me out. Put your head here so I can see you better, okay? Put your head here. No. Okay. You want to come down here and put your head here? Okay. Put your head here. Next day, I asked my son to help me out to hold uh, his head and uh, I try to... Because uh, when you go... I tried to Google it and uh, they said that when you have a hot spot, you uh, clean that area really well and uh, I said, okay, we'll try the beard trimmer, you know, and uh, then I said, uh, since all the hairs was sticky with the, the pus and uh, the blood, it's not going to work, so I'll uh, try to cut it with the scissors. And uh, when I try to cut it, and he won't let us cut it, and only portion I cut it here, and I was afraid I won't, you know, also he won't get uh, hurt. And uh, then uh, my wife said that don't cut the hairs because uh, if any flies, we have a lot of flies around here too, because uh, and. Uh, the flies can sit and that hair will protect him. So we just uh, cut a small uh, area and uh, then uh, he won't let us and I said, okay, let's forget it. I won't do it. And uh, we put the medication that night uh, went and then the next day what I did, uh, I get the hot water and um, damp the cloth and I try to, you know, make uh, his forehead a little bit, uh, you know, wet and he felt a little better. Yeah. I tried to clean it really well, just like this. I did it like a half an hour, slowly, slowly, I got a nice microfiber cloth and uh, slowly, slowly I start uh, rubbing on him like this and he felt better than uh, slowly, slowly. Gradually, I order, and then uh, only what I did the first 15 20 minutes, I did it, you know, like combing, did it on the back, and that way he felt much better. And uh, once uh, I noticed that he's uh, relaxed, then I start doing like this, then he was okay, then not any issue. But this area, which was really bad really bare and he won't let me touch it uh, he let me touch it this way but he won't let me go this way or that way or doesn't because it hurt him really bad so i said forget it uh, you know i'm not going to bother him so once uh, i washed him like half an hour and keep changing the water and uh, after uh, three four times uh, i keep changing the water and then i washed it and after half an hour then i put the medication and the this is really good hot spray and uh, this is also that fast at relief and uh, that helped him and then I used the powder and uh, he felt all good and he slept the night and next day I repeat the same process I did it three times a day and uh, that day went by he feeling much better and today is the third day and I wanted to share with you guys because at uh, the beginning I don't wanted to share because it looks gross and also I have to, you know, give him more attention because as soon as you see me, he was uh, doing really well and as I start talking, he knows that uh, he's, a, he's a good actor. He knows that daddy is on, on the camera. So he's doing really well and uh, only thing I would say that uh, how to take care of the hot spots on your dog. If you have any issues anywhere, if you're doing combing regularly and uh, no issues, but anytime, anytime, but Shady is a very good boy, he's very supportive. He, he tells me, but that day was my fault. He was keep saying, God, something is wrong, and uh, I did not understand. You want some more spray? Yeah. Put you, close your eyes and uh, look at me. Close your eyes. 
So now I just hold him like this. He don't bother. So I spray and uh, then I slowly, slowly massage it. And he's uh, had his feeling much better. Today is the day we can see the skin is all red. All the blood has been cleaned out from all the hairs after so many cleanup. But in the middle, today he let me touch it like this. I can touch it. Up to yesterday, he won't let me touch it. That area is also healing up, cleaning up. And it's getting clean. So please, uh, if you got a problem with your Alaskan Malamute or Husky or, you know, any dogs who has a lot of fur, and if they get a hot spot, how to take care of them. And if you have any questions or any concerns, please comment below. And if you like this video to be helpful, and Sheru uh, is asking, Sheru, are you going to say, please like, share and subscribe over cheru say whoa woof 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 over he's just saying please like share and subscribe my channel and cheru is doing well now so I'm going to keep continuing the same treatment for another few more days until I'll see all the skin is nicely healed up and then he's all good. He's all good to go. You don't like it? See, I did not tell him this time that I'm going to spray it. He did like it. <laughs> okay. You're looking good, okay? Go play. So thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm going to turn off the camera now. And if you want, if you want everyone to subscribe your channel, then you have to say, subscribe my channel. Ah, ah, baby powder. Let's put some on. <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> That's good. <quite. laughs> Once the hot spray is dried off, uh, this is what I do. Now she's going, she going to shake it, so I have to go away. Okay, you're all done. Okay, let me turn off the camera, okay? And say thank you for watching and have a Oh, you don't want to say thank you? Oh, you shake all the power? No. You want to say thank you? Like to subscribe to your channel? Thank you for watching? Yes? Woof up? Woof up? Are you trying to scare everyone that uh, if you don't subscribe, you don't like it? So, what are you saying? Like, subscribe? Yes? Any other thing you want to say? Are you done? You want me to turn off the camera?
I said I'm going to turn off the camera. Okay, you said enough. Okay, thank you.